What's up guys, today we got a really cool video. We're at the headquarters of Montezuma and Mr. Dennis Hale is gonna show us around and show us some of the awesome products that they make and give you guys kind of a behind the scenes look at what goes on here. Super excited because you know I'm a huge fan of the Montezuma Triangle Boxes. They're the best boxes made. I've showed them several times, so you guys should agree with me on this that they are top of the line. So let's take a look at what they do here and let's get after it. You guys, come on. Here, this is, it, it's a little cluttered right now. This is our product development lab. And this is where we bring all new products, all first articles, um, anything that we want to take apart, test, make sure that the, the designs that we've constructed were, were produced correctly with the right materials and that it functions the right way. And here are some of our new designs in the shop boxes, some of the original prototypes that were started to move through and how we bring them in beat them up, test them, and kind of make sure, as I said, make sure they're functional. Right. So uh, obviously you guys started with the original triangle box, correct? Like the one that I had, the truck box, I think is what it's called. And then the demand probably grew guys wanting to use them inside of a shop more and more. And so you guys pretty much took the weatherproofing off of it correctly and then added the drawer and, you know, the extra space. Yep. Like on the side, so. So when you get into the triangle, it's our number one requested item. Yes, Right? Sir. And that's the one that we're, we're most known for. Mm -hmm. And that really has driven into demand and, and recognition of the overall shape of the product and the use of it with the waterfall system and being able to really see your tools at a glance, but then secure them properly so that they don't, you don't lose them. Right. Um, so from that, you're exactly right. It has really kind of manifested itself into different ideas where we can bring it into the shop. We recognize one of the things we do from a product development side is not only do we rest on our laurels of, of manufacturing and engineering, but we go visit the users. Yeah. We go into their shops. We go on the road with them. We see how they use it. And then from there, we get new designs, new thought processes of how we can continue to make it better. Right. And we notice people are using this in their shops. So we did. We pulled the weather stripping out that allowed us to add a drawer. Add, and make it a little bit different overall, add some power grommets, take out some of the bulletproofness of the product as a, as a road box, right. and make it more of a shop box. And with that, we we're able to give more features mm -hmm. and not really increase the cost, actually bring the cost down a little bit. Well, I know there's no doubt that you guys put in a lot of time developing and designing that box. Because before I got the Montezuma, I got a cheaper brand triangle box. Well, the spacing on the pegs wasn't right. You couldn't put the sockets on there because they was too close, you know, and then the larger sizes, they was too far away. And on the Montezuma box, I've tried different brands of sockets with it and every brand fits like it's supposed to. So, I mean, that goes to show, even with the wrench, the way you have the pegs designed for the wrenches, it don't matter if you've got cheap wrenches or you've got snap-on wrenches, Matco wrenches, whatever, the, the spacing is perfect on them. So you guys done your homework. Y'all had to do a lot of testing on a lot of tools to get that right. We spend a lot of time and we go through it in a lot of detail. Um, you can't make one size fits all for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, we look, we're continuously looking for ways to make it better, make people where they can make it more modular on their own, where they can adjust it. Because as much time and energy as we spend in it, you're still never perfect. You're always yeah. chasing perfect but you're, you're never quite there. So it's about what can we do to add the different technologies and the different opportunities to make it more modular so that the user can make it their own. Well, I can tell you, if you don't think it's perfect, I think <laughs> a lot of guys will disagree with me because those triangle boxes and that shop box is by far the best. You cannot fit that many tools in, a, in any other toolbox that I know in that smaller footprint. You guys did a phenomenal job on that. Well, really it's working with the users and yeah. it's just paying attention to the market. Well, and not changed. get resting on our laurels. Well, you did good on it. So, thank Ain't you. No doubt. There's some new ones too that we're working with some of our some of our users on. This is our a new cart. This is a prototype oh, that, that we're working cool. through. That we're bringing it through with the power tool station and charging stations. 
but we bring out a prototype and we put it in the hands of users and we get additional concepts and additional ideas. Some of them we're making to it right away. Some of them will be in a Gen 2 because right. of timing behind it. Um, all the way just to make it the best product that we can at the most affordable pro price that we can. So we have a workstation here. Oh, that is awesome. So that you can actually put a tablet or your phone and, and right. use it to work. Um, we're working to make this lockable. Is that right, Shell? We put it up on top. We put it on top now to make it easier to right. utilize. And then it will lock so that you can put your, your pieces in there for, and you can charge it while it's locked. But we do the two drawers so that there's a safety standpoint versus yeah. one log drawer. Right. Because, again, working with the consumers, yeah, we mean, know that they weigh them down. Heavy. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. So just to safety first. That's a very nice cart right there. I'm looking forward to seeing that launch. It will be coming soon. When is it supposed to launch, Shell? In March. That's cool the way you got the power tool slots on the side of it like that because that's like one of the biggest waste of space when you get through with a power tool you know throwing it on the top of your cart it just clogs everything up and the ability to hang it like that is really going to to make well, that we've done space. It in a way where they could use it for for charging as well when it's not being used mobile. Right that's really cool man. You guys always come up with the coolest stuff. All right, so hold on a minute before, before we go any further. Yep. I want to show this. So this <coughs> is a loaded toolbox. They're not they're not welded in. No no tricks. No tricks. Everything moves. Okay. So I'm assuming when you call this a rotisserie, you're fixing to flip this thing over. You're fixing to flip it over is right. So fully loaded. Right? Everything got a, a brochure in here. Everything locks down like normal. Set it up. And this just gives us the aha moment, right? There's nobody will, will be flipping this thing around and dropping it off. But the idea is when this box is on the side of a, a, a truck and it's bouncing through some rough terrain, right. you want to keep everything organized. So the best way to show it is. Oh, God. And it sounds terrible. Holy cow. Dude, that is so cool. <laughs> I must confess, I've dropped my Montezuma box unloading it full of tools from the tailgate height. Nothing happened. Yeah. Nothing got broke, nothing. It dented it, scratched the powder coat a little bit, but nothing, like it's fully functional. Nothing got lost. We've They're had tough. people give us uh, calls and say, hey, we just bought a brand new box, delivered it. Um, I thought my partner secured it to the truck and we went down the road, 60 miles an hour. It wasn't secured. It came off. I went and found it. It was dented up and banged up and scratched up, but everything was there and it's still working. <laughs> Can you give me a discount on a new one since it's all banged up and discount, yeah. you know? Um, so we, we try and work with our, with our team. Right. We, we, we understand that that's a mistake, but the reality is, is that he went and retrieved it. Mm -hmm. He was going down the road 60 miles an hour and it survived yep. and everything was where it should be. So that, those are great testaments. That is amazing right there. I never thought about turning one all the way over. I knew the bounce in it wasn't gonna come out, but I never thought about turning it all <laughs> the way over. That is cool. Yeah. Keeps it right, keeps it right. And you can see what we've done. I mean, this is our, our most prized possession and what we balance everything off. And we've made different sizes. We have the, the 41 inch version now, which is essentially the 36 inch on steroids we have a locking door securing it with power nice. as well that is cool right there so giving you that ability we go down the continuum in size um, and then obviously you know the shop box this is the finished shop box with the power tool organizer and all the features with the drawer it allows you to keep everything at a glance See, I didn't know y'all made the bottom box for the top box. We do. Because, you know, we talked about that. Several guys was asking me in the video. They're like, what are you going to do? I was like, well, man, I don't know. I'm probably buy a smaller, you know, like a roll cart type box sure. and set it on it. But I didn't know that y'all offered that. That's, yep. that's pretty cool. If it's a toolbox, if it's tool storage, garage organization, 
you can bet we, we either make it or we have made it. Right. Um, as far as the, the amount of experience within tool storage and garage organization um, in, in our company, we're, we're well over 500 plus years with, within the leadership. Holy cow. Not speaking to, and that's the design team, the leadership team, the, uh, all the way through, sales team, um, and working with the sourcing and working with the engineering and, and all of those components. That's critical. That's stuff that you can't replace, yeah. right? That tribal knowledge with the team and not just focus on one skew of business, but then looking at it as a broad spectrum. Right. Well, what's the best seller, the diamond plate or the black? Which one do you sell more of? The black, the black by far. If you do any market research, it'll pop up being the black. And for us, it holds true too. I believe more than anything, it's the, there, there's a price point on, on the aluminum, right. right? That is closely a representative of a box twice the size. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a component of it, but I think people just love the black. It's, it just goes with everything and a lot of trucks out there, either white, black, gray, and it just fits really well. Mm -hmm. Cause I had a struggle when, when I went to purchase mine cause they had the polished aluminum one. And I was like, man, I really liked it cause it looks good, you know, but I knew it was going to go on a work truck and you know, it was going to get abused more than normal. And uh, we've actually considered buying the small diamond plate to go on our personal truck because we got a shiny toolbox across sure. the bed and it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's terrible to get up in that truck to get your stuff out of that box, you know. And I've got so spoiled to having the Montezuma where it's right there to tailgate. It's easy to get to. Everything's organized, you know. What I'll say is stay tuned. <laughs> okay. What that I'll say good. is stay tuned. That's you know, the good. one thing that we're always focused on is product development, is listening to what you just said. Right. And I, and I don't even know if you know what I heard you say. We pay attention to every word, every detail, because it's how you use it. It's how, it's how it affects your life. Right. You know, we have a, we have a slogan that, that Montezuma Life Organized. It, it, that's true for us. Mm -hmm. And if you don't listen to those words and those meaningful impacts, we'll never really truly get there. And again, we're always chasing perfection. We'll never get to perfection. Right. Um, but we'll keep chasing it. Well, you guys are there in my book. <laughs> I know. Wow, um, these are really nice boxes. That one box is huge back there. How big is that one in the corner? So that's a 72 by 30. Wow. And we have the raise and release, which is one of our patents. So you can't just open the box. You have to raise it up. Oh, yeah. So it locks it. We actually have pictures of guys sitting in here. Wow. That's a huge box right there. How deep is that box? 30 inches. 30 inches. 30 inches. Comes with the power of the additional grommets all the way through. Um, the heavy duty gas strut casters. It has, a, it, everyone comes with the work surface. You could use it with the work surface, without the work surface. Wow, that's a really nice box. And the, we do a lot of different color variations, but, but the black and the blue, the blue just, mm -hmm. the anodized blue just pops. I'm a fan of that it blue. It just pops. And it just, it has a really um, smooth feel to it all the way through. The heavy duty ball bearings up to 300, and 300 pounds on, on the bigger drawers. Um, we pay a lot of attention to, to the detail. Yeah, you can tell you guys yeah. have y'all are killing it. That blue trim looks amazing. <laughs> it really does. So here we have our side locker that fits on all of our Montezuma toolboxes. Has what three drawers down here with the ball bearing slides. Those are nice. So those will fit on like the ones we look like the big seventy two and. 56 oh. inch, 72, the 41, 46. This fits on every single one of the tool storage combinations yeah. that we make. So the doors, like, can you flip the door over where you can have a left swing and a right swing you, for the lockers? You can, yes. That's really good. That's a really nice add-on feature for that. In addition, we have the side cabinet. Oh, that's nice. I love the fact that you guys are incorporating stuff like this. Like this is all tool truck brand That's right. stuff. Cause now a guy can have a power drill or a power locker, you know, like all of the features without having to spend 35, 40 grand 
to get them. And they're, they're good. And great bonds. That's exactly right. The idea is, is to give the quality at a value, yep. and it just matches and allows the workers to be as consistent as possible. That is really nice right there, the way you got the USB and everything in there. Yep. This fits up really well, mounts. So we have all the mounting brackets, come with all the mounting brackets for, for whichever box you choose. That's to bolt cool. it onto. So it, no, it don't matter which series of the Montezuma boxes you get, it'll work with all of them, right? Correct. That's awesome. Correct. And as we redesign and add new series, we'll add new side boxes and cabinets. That's cool. Those yeah. are really nice, man. Works out well. Some of the new stuff that we also have is our garage organization. We, so we talk about life organized. So th we do a whole set of modular garage organization. Oh. And you can do a full 10 inch version in that box. It comes in that box. It takes it longer to get it out of the package than it does to, to, to put it together. Holy cow. You, I put a whole 10 inch, and actually this is true, my team doesn't believe it but I put a whole 10 foot by seven foot version together in 45 minutes by myself after I got it out of the packaging. Holy the packaging man. was about another 45 minutes. So you're telling me that piece that you just slid over there transforms into what's behind you. That's it. So it's a modified KD, right? This is our patent. So you can ship more product. You can put more product on a retail level and a retail shelf. You can actually get a 10 foot section, all of the components into the back of your minivan and take it home for the day. You can think about it on Thursday, go buy it on Friday and be using it on Saturday morning. Oh my goodness, that so, is so cool. And all you have to do to put it together instead of going to Ikea and you push A into B into C, right. 42,000 screws later and you're ready to hurt yourself. That is so Cool. All you do here is pop the top on, eight screws on the top, eight screws on the bottom, pop the shelf in, you're done. That is awesome right there. You guys, have, that's amazing to me. So uh, this is going to be like the top cabinet on those, right? Yes. It's wow. either, I think it's this one actually. That is so cool. Because then you have the stainless steel or galvanized top that you can choose from and you can put it on with the clips underneath, then you just put there's um, a set of feet that you screw in and you're done. Awesome. And you're that done. That is so cool. And it looks smooth, Yeah. right? It matches your whole layout. You can put in your garage organization, your tool storage and so on and, and you're in the game. That is really nice, man. Y'all did a good job with that. I like the fact that it's so easy. You know, you don't have to, it would take, Probably a truck, at least one, you know, full size long wheelbase truck to haul that normally. And you actually on our YouTube channel, you could see him loading a, um, a mini SUV actually with a full 10 foot section. Wow, that's really so, good. With this is a 24 inch depth, we're moving to also include the 18 inch depth so that we can use, you can use both sizes. It comes with the option of either having a double door top shelf or a gas strut one door. Oh, that's really nice. And it has the pegboard in the back and it's all freestanding. So you don't have to anchor that. You want to potentially have the, the tip proof. We have right. a tip proof in installation if you, for, for our consumers to use that, but it is all freestanding and it all links together. That right there would look good in a garage too. You know, that's a lot better than a you know, a bunch of rinky dink little boxes sitting around, you know, that's, that's nice and clean, that, you know, like all your car wash and stuff, everything could go in there and be behind a closed door. You that can. That really good. The other thing that we do, so I have a full 10 foot section in my, in my garage, my personal garage, and then I have three, two double stack sections for, I have three little boys. Yeah. There's nothing more messy, more smelly, more muddy than three <laughs> little boys. Yeah, that's true. So this is what they use for their lockers. When yeah. they come home, they throw their gear in there. They're not allowed to bring it in the house because otherwise my wife will be my wife and kill me. So <laughs> um, it just allows to keep all the mess outside, all hide the disorganization. That's what garage organization truly right. is. Yeah. It's not yeah. necessarily organization, it's to hide mm -hmm. the clutter. Yeah. yeah. And then to keep that's your true. workspace clear. That's really nice, man. I like that, especially with the pegboard system that's in there. You got a hole there so it's easy to mount a light under. Like that's. 
And we have That's actually, great. if you look over here, we have the under cabinet lighting. Oh, yeah. So you're able nice. to put that underneath your, your workstations as well and use those grommets that you just referenced to really Dude, that would add look the freaking awesome. It like, is. That work table, y'all sell this as a unit, the work table and. This and whole it. unit. The lights are separate. Yep. But the whole unit, this whole unit and the vice is not ours. But the whole unit itself is our one of our new workstation program. Yeah, we're gonna have to get one of those right there. That we have that one. Cool. We have the the six foot, and we have an expandable where you could use your own different. Those come with the wood surfaces. Mm -hmm. We have the the frame itself, which is probably our, which is really our best seller. It's just the frame. You can put whatever workstation, whatever top, whatever, whatever you top, want it. yeah. And it's expandable. It goes down to thirty six inches and up to seventy two inches, and you can expand the height as well. So these these you call them utility boxes like those would be perfect for a service truck too there they would be um these are kd versions for us so you can put it together it's all friction fit uh it has the, the locking mechanisms and and the watertight surrounds uh it's allowed to, we've done testing and we've run in trade shows we've run um contests yeah. who can put it together the fastest the fastest that they put this together was 68 seconds holy I believe smoke. It is. it's all friction fit yeah and once you've seen it happen a couple times not right out of the gate you're not the first guy but if you've seen it happen then you know how easy it's to do all you need is a rubber mallet and mm -hmm. you put it together i like how tall this work surface and stuff this table right here everybody should have one of these like that that right there is definitely my next Montezuma well, purchase. Well, and you can adjust can it, right? It adjusts you. up and down. You can even get it a little higher. You can bring it lower too. Because when we first come in, you've got one of those sitting by your front door. Oh, do, and I told yeah. my wife, I said, I want one of those tables. Yeah, she I said, she I'm going to have to get one of those. <laughs> that is perfect. Because yeah. we're redoing our studio now, and I'm looking for something like that to go on the back wall of it. And I found it. You guys are awesome. Yep. So... We showed you the other triangles. Yes, sir. And we we're talking about continuing to develop and listen to our consumer. Mm -hmm. The next one that we did was a medium-sized shop box. Heck yeah. We did a lot of research and we said, okay, what are the top tools, top 50 tools you put and utilize? And it mm -hmm. comes with the handles, of course, uh, as normal. It comes with a parts tray. Keep it organized for the common user. Right. Maybe not the guy who uh, has a, um, a, a truck running out or one with needing a big rolling mm -hmm. tool cart, but someone who wants to put it on their workstation yeah. and keep it. See, like in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, that could go in the back of my wife's SUV. Right. I don't have to dig through the stupid toolbox where you got to pull the tray out, yep. hunt sockets. Yep. Like that's what I'm, when I see that, that's exactly what I'm thinking. That would fit in the trunk of a car, super easy. It would fit in the SUV, the back end, like that's where I see that box in my life. And, and that's exactly where it was designed for, right? Because we listened to what they're saying and, and saying, listen, we don't want to have it buried in, into, in their SUV in the back in their little, uh -huh. little trunk organizer section. How do we keep it where it's easy and accessible? Which leads us to the next version because the other piece that we had heard was, how do I keep it on my workstation? where I still don't lose my workstation. Yeah. If I don't I have the garage organization with the pegboards and everything, how do I have the, the waterfall racking mm -hmm. where I can manage my, my most used sockets or even for a homeowner, how do we utilize that so that they can have it on their workstation, not lose the majority of, of their table right. and still have easy access? Well, that right there is cool. Yep. I like that. I think it's perfect. A little bitty guy. Seventy nine ninety nine retail. Oh, dude! Everybody should own one of those. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. So, where does somebody go to find those two boxes? So we just launched them. Okay. So you go to MontezumaStorage.com okay. at this point. But currently, we have many of our farm customers and retailers mm -hmm. already committing to them. It's been a little bit more difficult than normal with COVID getting in front of them and showing them these right. products. We've been doing a lot virtually and they've been seeing and recognizing the value and committing to them. In the meantime, MontezumaStorage.com. That is awesome, man. Everybody should own. So what's the retail on the, the bigger one here? $149.99, right. I think it is, $149. Man, there's no excuse. A guy definitely should own 
you know, if he's got multiple vehicles, he should have one of those in each vehicle. That's well, this is designed to be a your two drawer carry box, right? Your hand box, but it ain't all junked up. You can actually but find it. It's not your all stuff. junked up. You can <laughs> find right. it. Yeah, you can find it. Uh, we have some more power tool organizers that we've just launched. We have a two bay power tool organizer and we have a, uh, a four bay, five bay. This five bay is 16 inches on center, so you can mount it right to the wall right. or you can hang it from your back of your pegboard. This is made more to go in your garage org and hang on the back of your pegboard. That is really nice right there. It has a saw cut out so you can easily put a circular saw blade and it rests flat. So there's, it's, you have a lot of times you put the circular saw on a table and it kind of rocks. Yeah. yeah. This will let it sit flat and move through. That is really cool. Man, you guys have thought of everything, like everything. That's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> so this is where we were talking about before with the, the cart. So that cart turned into this cart after listening to the consumers. Right. After putting that into a bunch of people's hands, that allowed us to put the, the storage bin and the, your um, tablet holder up top, mm -hmm. single drawer. We got rid of a big bump in the middle for dividing the, the, into two drawers. We did a, a V cutout so you could utilize this for, for saw cuts with either two by fours and or pipe. We've done an extra heavy duty wall so that we reduced any of the flexibility that would have in there. And either there's more improvements coming behind it. Well, that's awesome. That's a lot of thought that went into that cart, you know, just the cart. Yep. Yeah. This is a really key work uh, tool for a lot of HVAC, a lot of electricians. So we want to make sure we're listening to the consumers and right. of all the tradesmen. Well, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I mean, there's no doubt. And you're right, that anodized blue trim is amazing. I don't think the camera can pick up the, the way the light hits that. Man, it looks really Kinda good. Kind of glistens. Yep. I'm a huge fan of it. So this is our 56 inch version. Um, we actually redesigned it to add some new. Oh, the top is round. That is so cool. Fit looking. and finish. Yeah, the texture, yeah. right? To be able to see it. And everyone's seen the square tills a thousand times. Everyone's utilized the square tills. How do we add a little styling with functional styling, I should say, into, into the boxes? And it looks really cool with that lid closed too like that is really cool so it's what is it 56 by 25 56 inch by 24 this one's 56 by 18. okay it has all of our normal technology with our raise and release so what is this box called with the, the round top this one we call the a6 okay the A is an atom. A is an atom. Okay, that is really cool. Can you shut that lid one more time? For sure. I'll show that. That that looks really awesome. Yeah. Man, that looks like something like Ken Diggett Designs would come up with <laughs> on a you know if they designed a toolbox like you know they're always cutting edge on all their designs and that is really really nice. Now you've seen this tool organizer, this cart. Yes, sir. And let me pull it out of the display. One of the things your customers or your, your users and your viewers have talked about is by having protections for their tools as it's loaded. So we've come up with two different versions that allows us to lock it down. It's got a lock that runs through the base and cinches it tight so they can lock their tools. This is a cut proof Kevlar top. Wow. So you can't cut it with a razor blade. But surprisingly enough, Kevlar as everybody knows, we'll stop bullets, we'll stop knives, we'll stop razor knives. It won't stop scissors. Really? So you can actually cut it. If you're able to get to the bottom, you can actually, with scissors, with the double cutting action, cut any of the Kevlar. Okay. So this is one version. It's heavy duty, it's restrictive, but over a period of months and months and months, we developed and found a new and it's much softer, but it fits right over the top. And this resists not just razor knives, 
but then also your scissors. Scissors will not cut this. So as it's fully loaded, it's meant to design and to be able to encompass any sort of structure, would, no matter what, if you have the wrenches on top, your screwdrivers on top, whatever it may be, cinch tight on the bottom with a locking mechanism and lock it tight. That's pretty cool. We Just, learned something today. Yes. I didn't know that you could cut Kevlar with scissors, so that's pretty neat. You know, the interesting thing is, again, this comes from listening to the consumers, listening to your, to your viewers, right? right? Having you do these reviews and just watching the comments mm -hmm. come through. And if it's a big concern for them, then it's a concern for us. We need to build solutions to kind of drive that. Well, that is really cool. This one I'm interested to know what you think about. This is a black diamond plate. I like black diamond plate because I actually got that's one of my toolboxes in my truck that's black, you know, and it, it looks really good. And... Yep. So, so what's the width on that? 30? This is a, what's the ME300, Joe? 30 inches? It's 30 inches. That's what I, it looked like, 30. That's a really nice looking box. I'm going to tell you, your latches are the best latches on the market. Like, it takes a long time to get it done. It really, really does because it's not just the latch. These latches are specifically designed for our boxes, mm -hmm. right? We have patent protections on them because not only does it fit really well, but if there's any road spray, which is going to happen, right. and if it gets in there, even if it's stainless steel, it has some drain holes, allows it to drain out so the yeah. water doesn't sit in there and corrode it and rust it. And I'll tell you another thing that I really like about your boxes. When your boxes are loaded, your handles, they don't have any wiggle. They don't have any give. Like they're solid, just like you would want them to be. And every other toolbox you've ever tried to pick up in your life that's loaded, it feels like the sides got a lot of wiggle. The handles got a little play. And in my mind, I'm always like, uh oh, if it breaks, there goes my foot. Or you know, oh yeah. Like you can imagine a loaded toolbox running down your shin and then hitting you on top of the foot. Like that's what goes through my mind. But your boxes are solid. Like you don't have that. I never had that worry with your box. Clay, it's 30 years worth of experience. Right. You know, to be honest with you. Um, we've tested, we've tested regular handles. We've tested the changing the sidewalls. We've tested the spring loaded so that you don't lose. You can, you can nest them side by side mm -hmm. because if, if you, this does stick out but we've watched how our, how our users use the boxes. Yeah. We've seen a fully loaded 36 inch triangle. It's about 105 pounds when it's unloaded. Mm -hmm. When they load it, they, they touch 500 pounds. And we see them grabbing hoists from their shop yep. and hooking it to the handles. Picking and they, it lift, they pick it up and they put it in their truck. And then they yep. take it out and they put it on a cart. And then they pick it up and put it in their truck and they pick it up and they put it in a cart. Mm -hmm. If we're going to, if that's, if that's how the user's going to use it, we have to work as hard as we can to make sure that the sidewall and the box will meet those standards. Yeah. Well, y'all have done a good job. You know, like I've, we've loaded ours in side-by-sides and went out on remote jobs to work on stuff, you know, and the plastic bed of a side-by-side -side is super slick, you know, and every time you hit a bump, it wanted to slide around. I've took ratchet straps and run through them and cranked them down. And like, I like the fact that those handles are that, They'll hold. You know, they, they hold, but you don't have to worry about it. Yep. So. Agreed. Y'all did a fabulous job on those. Thank you. All right, ready for some fun? Definitely. We I've had a, fun already. We have a new <laughs> fold-down workstation. Kind of. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That so bourbon, bourbon for days right there. So we actually designed this as a workstation is how it started. Okay. And we looked at all the weight capacities and so that people in small rooms, um, as cars get bigger, as housing gets smaller, there's always a need for, for small workspaces. So this was technically designed and is a fold down workstation. It'll hold up to 300 pounds on, on a lift. It allows you to put your work pieces up, fold down a workstation, fold it back up. You could use it in the garage, you can use it in the laundry room, you could even use it as a kid's workstation in their, in their, right. in their room, whatever the case may be. But when we were looking at it, I said, wow, doesn't this fit kind of a man cave perspective? That's exactly what I was And thinking. can we fill this up with a bunch of bottles, put the glasses on top, mm -hmm. and put it away, and then open it up so when you're having your weekend or your Wednesday night, 
get together in your garage. Yeah. You can do a little social distancing in your man cave and have a, have a nice little bar. That's a great idea. And I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I, I'm, I'm going to tell off on myself. Like, if this was lockable, where you could lock it, like, you're going to spoil a lot of kids' fun. Because when <laughs> I was younger, I don't know if you did this or not. Never. But you'd always go in there and you'd slip a little out of the bottle. And, you know, parents were pretty smart. Like, they remembered they drank it down to the label, so you'd have to add a little water to it. Yeah. That way you wouldn't get caught. So, you know. I never did that, but I know Bella did it. <laughs> Bella was know. for sure doing it. But that would be perfect for, like, you know, the, the parents that, you know, definitely want to be responsible and, and be able to lock up their, or maybe they leave the cheap stuff out and, and lock up the good stuff, you know, like that's where the bottle of Blanton's go and stuff like there that. There you go. So. There you go. That would be good. No, and you can add a hasp, and we've looked at adding on a locking, so that's a really great, yeah. that's a really great comment. But I'm proud my parents didn't have that because, <laughs> you know, but that is super cool, though. That, that would it's be really education, great. part of education, right? Not yeah. having, having access. Well, you got to learn. Because yeah, sure. if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't have been able to say, hey, man, if we put a lock on that box right there, you can keep other kids from doing the same thing. That's I right. So. That's right. So this is, this is something we're really excited about. Uh, again, we have a lot launching. We have even more in the pipeline coming. Um, here at Montezuma, we really pay attention to the market and keep making product that evolves with the market. Yeah. Well, you guys have done a fabulous job. And... Nothing that I have got that has your name on it, I would say, is not top quality. Like oh, thank you. The triangle road boxes are the best. I've said it at least 200 times in different videos, and I'll stand by it. You know, these, everybody thinks of, um, when they think of toolboxes, obviously Snap-on comes to their mind sure. as, as the top. I will put your boxes especially your road boxes, the triangle boxes, against <laughs> anything Snap-on can make that you could throw in the back of the pickup. Yep. Like, we if agree. they can make a product hold as many tools in that small of a footprint, I want to see it because nobody can do it. That's you guys right. have, y'all have killed the market with that one. Well, thank you. Sure. Thank you. Stay tuned. There's more coming. Okay. Well, that There's sounds great. Coming. So... Really appreciate you coming in. Yes, sir. Thank you. This. Yeah. Like Hopefully always, this is worthwhile for you. Like always, guys, check out Montezuma Storage. Is that your website? MontezumaStorage.com. MontezumaStorage.com. If you guys don't have a triangle box, like get one. Those baby shop boxes, there's no excuse for nobody to own one at a $79 price tag. That would be perfect in anybody's vehicle to keep your tools organized and all your stuff together. So it always sucks to work on stuff, but it really sucks to have to look for stuff to That's work right. on stuff. So if we can make, make it a little better. easier, it's the better. There you go. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you giving us some time today and showing us around and letting us check out some of the new stuff. Guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And like always, check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes is in the description. And if you're not subscribed, click that button. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you next time. See ya.